hi welcome to the tv testing channel and in this video we have um applying chain rule in derivative of natural law what i simply did was to separate examples under natural logarithms and how to differentiate them using the chain rule so uh, we have an equation in the form y equal to ln x squared plus 2 and to be able to do this we represent everything in the bracket to differentiate this everything inside the bracket we need to equate it to a certain variable i mean a certain letter usually using u since we want to apply the chain rule so in the beginning we first say that let u be equal to everything in the bracket x squared plus 2 so now that we have this the main equation or the original equation therefore becomes y equals ln u since i said u should be equal to this your next step is to differentiate u with respect to x and then differentiate y with respect to u so let's differentiate this one so we have du with respect to x will give us du dx giving us 2x the derivative of a constant is always zero so if you have not watched my video under basic differentiation search through the group um, the page look for basic differentiation uh, and, and learn how to differentiate this something like this and differentiate in a constant so from here we can move on to the next one by differentiating y with respect to u so when we differentiate this dy du will produce 1 over u so derivative of ln u will give us 1 over u if this place is x whatever variable it is it is 1 over that variable or that letter so from this step we apply the chain rule so i can write something like from chain rule I will say that dy dx giving us what was the first thing we differentiated du dx so you write that du ds multiplying the next thing we differentiated was y with respect to u so dy du and so when we put in the result we got into the formula we have dy dx giving us 2x bracket 1 over u now this will multiply this this over 1 or multiply the 1 here so i have dy dx producing 2x over u but you shouldn't forget that in the beginning we said let u be equal to x squared plus 2 so we bring it back and substitute it into the final result giving us dy dx giving us 2x all over x squared plus 2 so this place you can write but u equal to x squared plus 2 so that you know you are substituting it back here and this becomes our final answer so this is how we apply chain rule when we have natural law questions such as this there are different ways that the question can be given but when we come across anything like this we usually apply chain rule in equations of this form or functions of what derivative functions of this form so we let's see if we can take another example we may be given an equation such as um, y giving us something like um, ln x minus 1 um, or square so let's square here now those of us that are familiar with indices and logarithms we know that if we have anything something like this it is possible that we can bring the 2 here to multiply the ln and have 2 ln x minus 1 I will use that principle to make the work easier for us so we can rewrite this equation by saying y will give us 2 ln x minus 1. Now when we look at this, this is behaving like a product rule. And we can, we, it is possible that we can use product rule 
to differentiate many other equations especially when those equations have two times that are multiplying each other but in this case the equation was not given to us in two times that are multiplying each other but we use the indices or logarithmic rule to um, replace the two here so that it will be easier for us to differentiate this means that i will not be applying product rule so i can then represent everything in the bracket here with u like i did in the first question so i'll say that let u be equal to x minus 1 so therefore the equation becomes y equal to 2 um, lin u now we differentiate u with respect to x so we can get um, du dx giving us 1 when i differentiate this i'll get 1 if you still don't get this if i have y giving me y equal equal to x raised to the power n and i differentiate this dy dx will give me n x n minus one where n stands for any random value so you just subtract one from the power and you use the same power to multiply the x or whatever you are differentiating here whether x y whatever it is so when i differentiate this i'll get um 1 times x 1 raised the power 1 uh, raised the power 1 minus 1 anything raised the power 0 will give us what 1 so now when we differentiate this one now because i have factorized 2 out here let me use the word factorization to i'll just maintain these two and differentiate in u and then bring the two back so differential of this will give me dy du because it is the y and u so i'm differentiating u with respect to y with respect to u so this becomes two times one over u so that is what we have this is just by the way this is not part of it so now i can rewrite this by saying okay du ds equals one dy du equals 2 over u so now from here i will apply the chain rule by saying from chain rule i can say that dy ds giving me the first one du dx times the next one is dy du so when i substitute the result into the formula I am producing dy dx giving me what was du dx du dx was 1 so giving me 1 multiplying the next one is 2 over u which is dy du so the result we produce is dy dx giving us 2 over u but we shouldn't forget that in the beginning we said but let u be equal to my u was equal to um in the beginning u was equal to x minus one so but u was equal to x minus one so i'll put it back here giving me the result dy dx giving me 2 all over x minus 1 and this becomes my final answer